All right, this is part two. I went outside to have a smoke. Yeah. Yeah, but the actors' names are the luckiest out of all the uh, chosen actors in, in Hollywood. Yeah, man. The actors' names are lucky. The actors for Zanis are lucky. They're going to experience an international fame with King Ivan and Queen VJ. And they're going to be a part of that amazing story of the Last of Us Zanis movie project. Which is the Last of Us Zanis movie project. An amazing story, man. You'll see what I mean with my book, trust me. You guys will be shocked with my book, man. I, don't, I, don't, I know I'm cocky, man. But in reality, I'm a humble man. But I know I'm being cocky. The reason why I'm being cocky is my book is that good, man. I, it's better than even Jared Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. As I am finishing Lord of the Rings right now, and I compare, I, every day when I go over my book with my younger said brother, I'm like, holy shit, my book is better than Jared Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it's more interesting Lord of the Rings. It's more interesting Lord of the Rings. Yeah, man, Lord of the Rings is more dry. It's, it's a bit of a drag to read. You see what I'm saying? I recommend, VJ, you read Lord of the Rings. Read it for yourself. Read Lord of the Rings, and I recommend you what? You what? You watch... Watch what I recommend you uh you read Lord of the Rings books. Start I don't know, start from book two or Fellowship of the Ring and continue and read read the rest. Because I read all of book one for you guys on, on my channel. So you guys get an idea of what book one's about. But like you guys if you guys want to read Fellowship uh, Lord of the Rings, I recommend you pick up a copy and you read it for yourself. Good book, obviously, good series, but it's a, you, you'll you'll find it a little bit dry and boring. Because Jared Tolkien drags on describing everything man for for pages and that can get very repetitive and get very boring when he does that that's why why i wrote a better book than jared tokens or the rings i wrote a masterpiece so good that even all the all those big name authors like jk rowling brandon sanderson george r, r. martin steven erickson patrick grove all those authors are going to feel a bit like shit because they're all they're all going to be like oh my god like, I, I can never write a book like this you know what I'm saying? Ivan's book is... Oh, yeah, Ivan's book is better than all our fucking books. Yeah, he kept me way more hooked. I read my book. I compare it to Ivan's book. Man, Ivan kept me a lot more hooked than fucking we did. The, like, Ivan kept his fans a lot more hooked than we did. He entertained us throughout the... Throughout the whole... Through, 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 through the three volumes. Whereas our books are, are a bit normal. I mean, it's good. It's good, obviously, but man... It's, it's, a little, it's a little more dry. It's not as interesting and refreshing as I, and as fresh as Ivan's book. Ivan's book is so fresh when you read it. The characters jump on the page. The story flows perfectly. It's a masterpiece of a story. Yeah, and, and our books is good too, obviously, but it's not as good as Ivan's uh, uh, Last of Zane, Zane's, Zane's book. Yeah. I wrote a better book than all those. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hence why what? Hence why I'll make my billions, obviously, for me, VJ. The reason why I'm going to make my billions mainly is because I'm a son of God and I have the keys. But at the same time, Zanes is also a billionaire story. If I wasn't, if, even if I didn't have the keys, if I sold out and I traditionally published, Zanes would sell, would sell like, it would, would take out Harry Potter. It would sell 700, 800, 900, a billion copies. The, the, the news of this, if you promoted this story, the news of this story would travel worldwide, man. It would go viral. Go viral like crazy. Yeah, man. Hence why all the Lord of the Rings fans on Lord of the Rings Reddit, even they're going to become crazier Last of Us Zanes fans than they even are Lord of the Rings fans. That's how crazy, that's how crazy you're looking at for what? Yeah. Yeah, so crazy, even the what? Even the, um... So crazy, even the what? Even the what? Even the uh, Lord of the Rings fans on Lord of the Rings Reddit, all those nerds on Lord of the Rings Reddit, even those fans are going to what? Even those fans are going to what? Even those fans are going to what? They're going to, uh, they're going to what? Even those fans are going to become crazy with lots of Zane's fans and even Lord of the Rings. Because my book is better than Lord of the Rings. Oh my god, yeah, even though we're crazy Lord of the Rings fans, man, I'm much more of a crazy Last of Zane's fan. They're going to become crazy Last of Zane's nerds, man. 
something crazy. When I release my merch, all the fans around the world are going to go crazy buying my merch. That's how you know I'm worth the free money, obviously. You guys are all going to go crazy buying my merch, man. Buying my posters, my bugs. Oh my god, the Zayn's poster is out. You guys are going to buy the poster. The fans are going to buy the the, Lord of the, Rings, the, the, the the Zayn's posters. You see me. Look at Ivan now. He's a movie star with my wife and the actors featured. Yeah. Nice mugs. I might sell a Joe Pipe. Yeah. Something crazy for the fame. Zayn's will be the biggest IP in the entertainment industry. Bigger than Star Wars. Star Wars is big. Bigger than Marvel, bigger than, than, than what? Than Lord of the Rings, bigger than Harry Potter. Yeah, bigger than all those brands. See what I'm saying? As my book is worth like $50 billion. See what I'm saying? I am really, yes. I'm going to do a good like 45. Zayn's is going to do a good like 45 billion, 50 billion dollars in sales. Perhaps even more. But my guess is around that range is going to do. 45 billion in sales maybe? Yeah. Looking at, I don't know, a billion people around the world, 700 to a billion people around the world buying my book. It's going to do 40, 45, 50 billion dollars in sales. Yes. My book, Zayn is, is worth more than all the big pro sport leagues. Except for the NFL. The NFL is worth a lot. It's worth like 50 plus billion dollars. But the other pro sport leagues, my, my book is worth more than all those leagues. That's how powerful I am. Yeah, that's why the Seth Family's nature will show, obviously. Because they know how what? They know how, they know, they know my book is worth a lot of money. Hey, Ivan's book is worth a lot of money because he wrote it. He's, he's a son of God. He wrote it, obviously. He has the keys. At the same time, what? Um, Ivan wrote a billion. You know, Ivan wrote a billion dollar story. This story will have crazy what? Crazy buzz. And if we da if you dab his movie, you're looking at the best story told the picture. Yes, man. You're looking at a masterpiece. Yeah, I remember when I when I when I, when I, I remember I remember when I let my Seth on me know earlier this year in January. And they sat me upstairs, and they were talking to me. I remember, I remember my stepmother, she told me, she said, yeah, yeah, Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood would get their hands on this. She said that. Yeah, your book, Ivan, I, I, I can see it as a movie. Hollywood, people in Hollywood would love to get their hands on this. Yeah. She said that. She said about my book. Yeah, yeah. She, my stepmom, they obviously read some of my book. They know I wrote a masterpiece. Yeah, I even wrote a billion-dollar story, man. A story worth billions. Yeah, man. You know, in a couple minutes here, guys, I'm going to go upstairs and get my coffee. You have to bear with me. Get, an, get another car for myself. Yeah, man, you look at something crazy for the book. They know my my, 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 my book, Zane's, will have crazy... Yeah, Ivan's book will have crazy buzz. Worldwide buzz. Yeah, because Ivan wrote a masterpiece. Yeah, better than all these fancy authors' books. Yeah. You know how I know my book is better than all those other books? is because I'm reading Lord of the Rings right now, and Lord of the Rings is considered the better fantasy novel out of all those books. Lord of the Rings is known as being better than Jake, uh, Game of Thrones, Way of Stormlight series, Harry Potter, and, 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 and Name of the Wind, Malzin, Will of Time. Lord of the Rings is, is known as being better than all those books. You see what I'm saying? If you ask most fans, you know, they're all going to tell you, yeah, Lord of the Rings is the best best out of all the books. And I'm reading Lord of the Rings right now, and I compare it to Zane's. Yeah, Zane's is more interesting than Lord of the Rings. You see what I'm saying? If my book is more interesting than Lord of the Rings, then it's obviously better than the other books. Because Lord of the Rings is, 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 is better than the other books. Lord of the Rings is better than Game of Thrones. It's better than World Time. It's better than all those books. When you, when you, when you read it, you see a difference in quality. The, the, the world building jumps out on the page a lot more than the other books. It's a better book than those other books. You see what I'm saying? And yet I wrote a better book than the what? Than the, the J.R.R. Tolkien's fantasy novel. I wrote a fucking masterpiece, guys. And a couple minutes, guys, you gotta bear with me. I'm gonna go get my coffee upstairs. Yeah. I wrote a masterpiece, guys. A masterpiece. See what I'm saying? I wrote a masterpiece. A fucking masterpiece. I really, yes, man. I wrote a masterpiece, guys. A masterpiece of a story. Yeah, man. I wrote a masterpiece. Really, Ivan? Yes. That's why I'll have crazy buzz, obviously. That's why I'm going to make a lot of money off my book. I'm going to make my nights, I don't know, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 11, 12, 10, 13 billion dollars off my book. 
going to make a lot of money, man. And now with that money, I can now fulfill my dream. Weejay will be like, Ivan, how much money do you pay? I don't, I don't know, Weejay. I got paid. I don't know, Weejay. I got, I got paid $14 billion. Weejay's like, holy shit, Ivan. It's a lot of money. Oh my god, Ivan. We, we can now fulfill our dream. We can start Skype. We can start our, our film studio. We can fund the movie ourselves. Yeah. Got paid $14 billion. $14 billion. I can easily fund what? Hey, Weejay. I, can, I, I now made money for me and you. We can easily fund Zanus for, 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 for $9 to $8 million. Better quality than even the Hollywood movies. We can put a hundred million dollars of our own money into build or into buying the land. What? Buying the land and building all the buildings for our for our Sky Social Film Company. See what I'm saying? Yeah, we can me and Vijay can now fulfill our dream. And make that amazing last one for Zanus story. I mean, really, yes, we can fulfill our dream and make that amazing last one for Zanus story. Obviously. Yeah. My inf my famous fantasy novel. That's why Zanes will have the craziest buzz and will beat out Star Wars. Star Wars is so popular, you have something called Star Wars Celebration, where all the fans in America and around the world, they go to the event. Like tens of thousands of fans, man. They go to the event and they, they have Star Wars Celebration. John Farrell and only know what I'm talking about. You have crazy fans at Star Wars Celebration, obviously. Star Wars fans are so crazy that what? That whenever they have premieres, people like camp, people sleep, sleep and camp, camp. People camp overnight, obviously, just to see the Star Wars premiere, man. Yeah. I remember I saw a documentary with Phantom Menace. The fan, it shows the fans, the fans camping and all that stuff. The fans camping and all that stuff. Yeah, because Star Wars fans are crazy. Well, think something crazy or not for Zanus. You're going to, you you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, it was just like the Star Wars fans camp overnight for the premiere. The what? The premiere for the pre-order, obviously. A lot of people are going to stay up. A lot of people are going to stay up. Some people are going to stay up. Some people are going to stay up just, 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 just so they can pay for the movie and get it. Because they, everyone around the world wants to get that, wants to get that pre-order movie. Wants, wants, to get, well, wants to get the movie in the mail earlier, obviously. A lot of people are going to stay up just, 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 just to give themselves a chance. To get the movie in the mail faster. Yeah, it looks something crazy for the fans. Something crazy, man. I can release the pre-order on midnight. Midnight, midnight. Hey, hey, release. Have the have the movie available for pre-order on on, on on at midnight, if you want. Midnight, midnight, or you can have it available for release like any at noon or something like that. Midnight or noon. Midnight. Most people are sleeping, so do it at noon. Have it available for, for, for purchase on uh, around like noon, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, noon. Have the pre-order available for. Have it available available for what? For purchase on the Sky Source website. And all the fans, all the fans, what are going to? Uh, even like the big, even the big YouTubers. The guys I just mentioned, even they're going to be excited for my movie. They're all going to be lined up, ready to go to buy my pre-order. But I told you, if 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 if, if the, once you reach the once once you reach the limit, once it's reached the limit, your card will no longer work. Sorry, you we reached the limit. You we reached the limit. Your card no longer works. Tell Amazon that they can do something like that. Okay, Amazon, have okay the first two hundred million people who order get the four K movie copy in the mail first. And after they reach the limit, you get you get this you get this you get this you get this, you get this what. You get this, uh, you get this, you, the, 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 their card no longer works. Sorry, your card declined. You know what I'm saying? You, we, 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 we've reached the limit. Sorry, you, we reached the limit. And then if it, the card doesn't work, that means you, you, you're, you're too late, obviously. And so I want to do some of that to make it cool. All right, that's pretty cool. You, you can do some of that. Yeah, do a nice pre-order for Zanus. A nice pre-order for Zanus. Do a nice pre-order for Zanus. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. Don't hate me, you know what I'm saying?
Alrighty, sorry about that. I went to get a coffee upstairs. And this this part here in 13 minutes. Obviously, yeah, man. Yeah. That's why I don't want to hear that free money bullshit because you guys really piss me off. You really, really piss me off. You think what? You think you're gonna dupe me by having me pay a price to my wife, and then uh, when I'm king, you're all lined up with your cards and your and your cash, buying my fucking merch and my movie. Okay, well then if you're, you're you're all excited. You're line. You're you're in line. My movie's over for the pre-order. You guys are all in line, ready, excited to buy my movie. I'm like, okay. So you only made me pay this fee because you want to see me have sex. It's not because of the free money. No, it's not because of the free money. No, you just want to see me have sex. It's not because of the free money. Yeah, I mean, it's not because of free money. Once you're king, we're going to be obsessed with tuning into your life every day for hours. Like, leave me alone. See what I'm saying? We can't leave you alone, Ivan. You're fucking go. We can't leave you alone. Yes, hence why I'm worth the free money. I don't want to hear that free money bullshit. Right? That's why what I don't want to hear that free money bullshit, guys. You guys really, really, really get under my skin sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. My novel will have crazy worldwide buzz, man. Look at something crazy. All the people in Darcy, you know what I'm saying? My 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 step brothers, my step parents, they're obviously gonna reread my book. They've read some of my book, obviously, but they're they're gonna they're all they're all gonna buy my book. Once I remember, they're like, holy shit, Ivan wrote this, man? Ivan wrote a masterpiece, man. All the English teachers in Darcy, who, all the English teachers in my life who taught me English will be shocked with my book. Holy shit, Ivan's a good storyteller. Ivan wrote this? This is an amazing novel. This is a masterpiece. This is really good. I was hooked. Ivan entertained me throughout the whole story. Ivan's a fucking genius uh, storyteller, yeah. You know, so they're all going to be shocked. That's where all the future generation students in Darcy, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, 2025, I'm king. You know what I'm saying? The teachers are all going to tell the students, yeah, 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 18 years ago, Ivan came here. 17 years ago, 16, 17, 18 years ago, Ivan came to Darcy. Really? Yeah, 16 years ago, he came here. You know what I'm saying? Ivan came to this school? You know what I'm saying? It's, everything's so sacred now. So yeah, 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 look at the graduation pictures. He came here. You see my graduation picture? 2009 graduation picture. Ivan came here, yeah. Ivan came to the school. You know what I'm saying? And they're all shocked, like, holy shit. Ivan came to this school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, the teacher, the English teacher, yeah, I, I, yeah, Ivan was a horrible student, guys. Ivan was a horrible student? Yeah, are you sure Ivan was a horrible student? Because it's like because he wrote a fucking masterpiece that like that, like none of us can even write, man. None of us smart English students can even write a book like that. Even us students who get 90s, we can't even write a book like that, man. And Ivan wrote a fucking book like this. Yeah, yeah, Ivan was a horrible English student, man. He didn't do his homework. He struggled in English. I only struggled in English because I, I, I didn't what? I only struggled in English because I didn't put in the work. As I told you, I got better marks in Darcy, than a lot of the guys in Darcy for history and English. I just didn't put in the work. I, I didn't take school seriously. It wasn't until I went to Al Ed I finally took school seriously, and when I did take school seriously, I finally got the good marks. I already told you the kind of marks I got for, 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 my, for my classes. You see what I'm saying? Now, Ivan, Ivan was a horrible student. Yeah, Ivan was a horrible student. Ivan was a horrible student, and he wrote this book. He wrote The Last of Resilience, the best fantasy novel ever written, better than even Jared Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, <laughs> and Brandon Cyrus's Way of Kings, J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter. He wrote a book better than all his, all his books. Yeah, yeah, I, Ivan was a horrible student. Like, holy shit, man. That's hard to believe, yeah. It's hard to believe, you know what I'm saying. I wrote a masterpiece. I gave you guys an in-depth study of my novel in my past videos, in my, in my listening series. I mentioned my book many times in my listening series. I, I mentioned details of my book in my listening series. I, I, gave, I gave an in-depth study of my book in my past videos. Remember those videos, guys, I made last year? I gave you an in-depth study of my book. I think you guys, you guys now understand why my book, Class of Zanes, will be the best fact I've ever written. Yeah. Look at an amazing story. Eratat, the devil walking in the south, Ephesus, the king bat of the mountains, the fool, the prince of the south. Eratat, spies, the spies of the south. The eagles, the watchers of the north. Merimus, the captain of the archers. Cassius, the general of the army. Queen Sarah, the queen of Zanus. King Tactius, the first, the king of Zanus. 
Prince Tactius II, the Prince of Zanus, to be king, obviously. Morale, the general of the army, obviously. You have the wild crows and ravens cursed, cursed in the south. The wild stags, the wild snakes. The, 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 the southern western Gilius Mountains that leads to the ancient Gilius city where Ephesus lives. Cursed with big mosquitoes and jaguars guarding the entrance. Yeah, I wrote a masterpiece, man. Saphia, Cyrus, Zanus, Barak, the forest of Galathia, the valley of the dark, the blood valley, the river of Tinus, the wall of Zanus, the castle of Zanus, the city's edge, the northern Gilius Mountains. That's not cursed. At least it's the city's edge. Yeah, I wrote a masterpiece, man. The Saf Brewery, the Zanian Brewery. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Eli's Large House. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I wrote a masterpiece. Holy. This, the Cursed Devil Ancestors of the South. The Holy Asses of the North. Yeah, you're looking at a fucking master I wrote. Yeah, man. You're looking at a masterpiece that I wrote. Something crazy, man. Yeah, man. I'm going to keep saying this. So when you when you're in the north, it's holy terrain. Once you once you go to the blood valley, the blood valley is cursed. Obviously, it's full of dead things. Obviously, picture that scene. Remember when, remember when Frodo? Picture the Pel. Remember the Pelennor battles, the Pelennor War with Rohan and and the, and the, and the army of Mordor and Return of the King. Think of a valley like that. Except there's a bunch of dead things on the ground, and it goes on for hours. It's a huge valley. I mean, how big is a valley? It's huge. It goes on for hours. I don't know how long, I don't know, like five hours. It takes like five hours, six, four hours to cross that valley. It takes hours to cross the valley. Once you cross the valley from the north, you're now in the south. You have this mist. I don't, I don't, des I don't describe a mist in the book, but in the movie, I'm going to have them, ha I'm going to have this like mist. Okay, Peter, I'm thinking whenever, whenever they, cr they cross the valley, you have this mist. And, you, and, and once you pass that mist, you, you, you're now in a different atmosphere. You're in the south. Do some of that. You have this mist, mist in the sky and all that stuff. And you're in, you're in, you're in a different atmosphere. You're now in the south. Ivan, mean, you're creative. Yes, Peter Jasper. Ivan, mean, that's 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 cool. We could do some of that. Yeah, we can, there's many ideas I have. You can have them be a mist. Obviously, you can have there be a mist. Obviously, I think having a mist, a fog, if you want. I'm not a fan of having a fog. No, but a mist, a mist in the sky. And once you pass that mist, you're now in a different atmosphere, and you're in the south. And once you pass the blood valley from the north, you're now in the south, and you're now in Eretat's territory. Eretat is the king of the south. He is the devil, the, the, the devil master wolf king in the south. It is his territory. He is the king of that region. And the moment you journey through the, the further, further west, in the, through, 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 through the Gilius Path, the Gilius Western Mountains, in the, in the mountains, that is now Ephesus' territory, and he is the king of the mountains. You see what I'm saying? Remember that. Eretat is a king of Barak. He's a king of Barak. He's a king of the south, obviously, but he's not the king of the mountains. Ephesus is the king of, of the mountains. That is his territory. See what I'm saying? So Eretat and Fafula of Eretat and what? And Ephesus are both kings. They're both royalty, obviously. And the south is pretty much the animal kingdom. And 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 the two kings, the two the two the two lines of kings live in that in those regions, and they rule those regions. So, so Eretat. It does not rule the Southerns, but he he is the king of the South. You see what I'm saying? Er? He is the king of the South. S the Safians and Syrians have their own customs, their own laws, and their own lands, but they all know Eretat is the king of the South. They, they know they're living in his territory. They're living in the animal kingdom, in his territory, in his region. He is the king of the South, and Ephesus is, is the king devil bat of the mountains. And that's where the bats live. And the Southerns know, don't know much about Ephesus, but they know, they, 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 they know that bats... Because most of the Salons have never been to 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 to, to, to the ancient Gilead city, because so if they take if they go to the ancient city, they'll they'll get killed. But they've heard legends of bats and also that live there. You'll see. What I mean, when you read volume two, Eli talks about yeah, there, there, there's, there's another path through the mountains. That's where all the bats live. The demon bats live. You see what I'm saying? Here? And Ephesus is a king bat of the mountains. He is a king devil bat of the mountains. Remember that. Holy shit, you want a masterpiece? Yes, I want a masterpiece. Yes. The cursed devil asses of the South, they hate the humans, but they hate Tactius the most. Because Tactius is a prince of Zanus. He's special, obviously. Right? The um the holy asses of the North, they hate Eretat, Ephesus, and they hate the bats and the wolves too. Obviously, because what? Because Eretat and them are obviously their cursed 
they're cursed devil beings. I don't want to spoil the story for you. Give me a sec here. What? Yeah, sorry guys, my, my stepbrother was calling me, um, my stepmother went to the store to get shawarma, so I, I, he asked me what, what kind of shawarma I wanted, obviously, that's why I had to, I, that's why I what, he was calling me, obviously, so sorry about that. Yeah, holy shit, I wrote a masterpiece, yes, I wrote a masterpiece. The Northerns do not like the Southerns, the Southerns also do not like the Northerns, the Northerns look down on the Southerns, they see them as what, as, as lesser... They see them as what? They see them as, as what? As poor, you know what I'm saying, Southerns. They don't respect them, obviously. You'll see, I mean, when you read the book with Tacitonius and Job and all them, they, 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 they make fun of Job and all that stuff. They don't like them because, because the Southerns are what? The Northerns don't like the Southerns. See what I'm saying here? The Northerns do not like the Southerns. The Northerns do not like the Southerns. Really, Ivan? Yes. And Eli is the richest man in the South. He's loaded. He has a big house. And it's, there's a scene in, in Volume 2 when he, when, when taxes them, they go to the banquet hall. There's a great, there's a big feast. And there's like 100 guests in, in, in the banquet hall. He has a huge table that seats 100 guests, 100 people in his house, man. He's loaded, Eli. He has a huge house. You know how what you know how um you know Dethanor in the Return of the King you know how he's rich and he has like a big table things like that for for Eli he's loaded man Eli is loaded but he's not as rich as Tactius you see what I'm saying he's not as rich as Tactius you see what I'm saying he's not as rich as Tactius yeah he is not as rich as Tactius. Tactius' net worth is like 150, 200 million. Eli's net worth is probably 50 million bucks around. I'm just making up numbers here. But Eli is, my point is, Eli is loaded. Lithia lives with Eli. It's, it's, it's his daughter. She's spoiled, obviously. She's rich. Elizabeth is Eli's wife. Job is Eli's hard caretaker. I don't know. Job probably makes, I don't know, 400,000, 500K a year taking care of Eli's house. He talks about, yeah, Eli pays me good wages. And Job lives with Eli too at, in his house. And Job pays him a lot of money to take care to, 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 as his caretaker. Job is Eli's hard caretaker. And he's a pothead and he smokes a lot of weed. He's not too bright. That's why Andy Service is perfect for the role of Job. And Belle and Mary live with Lithia and they're also spoiled too. So that's, and Cornelius is Eli's right hand man, second in command. Cornelius is second in command in Safius. He's Eli's right hand man. And he's the captain of the blacksmiths. He's the captain of the, of the blacksmiths in Safius. The greatest, the greatest, what, the greatest blacksmiths in the lands. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they're all rich, the Southerns, but they're not as rich as Tactius and all them. Cassius, Tacitonius, Lithius, Tactius, Merimus, Berimus, Queen Sarah and all them. They're all richer than, than the Southerns. They're so rich, they even look down on the Southerns. Tacitonius looks down on, like, Job and all them. And those guys are already rich. Tactius looks down on Eli and all them, and he's rich, because he knows he's richer than them. They're Northerns. They're rich people, you see what I'm saying? They're from the royal, they're from the royal family. Merimus and Berimus are not from the royal family, but Tacitonius, Cassius, Tactius, Cassius, and Queen Sarah, they're all from the royal family. That's why they're all lower and they're all rich. They're rich people, man. That's why Peter Jackson because the holy shit, I mean you wrote a masterpiece. Yeah, I wrote a masterpiece, man. Yeah. I wrote a masterpiece. I want to show my camera up here.